Initial Performance Analysis in the Evaluation of Computational Thinking from a Gender Perspective in Higher Education. The content of this presentation is the following. Mexico is an unequal country in many aspects. One of the most worrying refers to gender. Men and women don't have the same opportunities. Even today, the choice of a profession exhibits the reproduction of teaching stereotypes in Mexican schools. Women are associated with sensitivity and men with more logical thoughts. Data provided by Herrera et al. about the fact that similar performance shown by girls and boys during the beginning of the first school years favored women in language and communication and the end of secondary school but that keeps a disadvantage in mathematics. It also indicates that before entering higher education studies, men will have reduced the gap in language and communication, but women will have widened the disadvantage in mathematics. Of the total enrollment of technical industrial high school, women represent 14.8%. However, it's surprising to find that they are concentrated in technical careers such as dressmaking, styling, secretarial, nursing, and educational assistant, where for every 10 students, 9 are women. On the other hand, in technical careers such as mechatronics or electronics, there are only 2 women for every 10 students, and in careers such as computer system or studies, Related to the automotive industry, they barely represent 10% of the enrollment. In last five years, an evaluation of specific computational thinking skills has been carried out at the Universidad Tecnológica de Puebla, Mexico. Faced with such information, the question for this work is, is there any difference by gender that is obtained from results in the evaluation of computational thinking? The first activity performed with data was to determine the number of participants by gender in each of the evaluation. These graphs contain the months for each year for women and men. The second activity was to determine the total number of students with correct answer for each skill. Consequently, in the third activity, totals and percentage by gender of correct response and by skill were obtained. By graphing only percentage by gender and skill, the similarity of results can be observed when each or respective graphs coincide by years. The data indicated that there is a great number of men who carry out the computational thinking as men in each of the interventions. The above information shows the tendency to associate IT study with male gender. However, with respect to computational thinking skills, we have the following data. There is a correspondence in relation to number of women and men. Similarity in the inclination line that Jones values between total of women and men who answer the item correctly for each skill. There is not a great number of men or women with correct answer. Then we can say that they don't perform better once each other. In each of the five graphs that show total of men and women with correct answer per year in year of skills, they show that there is not a skill where men are better than women or women better than men. In, in each of them, the graphic difference corresponds to number of participants by gender. All two data indicate that there is a great number of men who enter the student formation technology. There are no significant gender differences in skill assessment related to computational thinking, specifically the composition, abstraction, generalization, algorithmic design, and evaluation. Difference in totals is correlated with number of participants by gender. Consequently, there is an equal opportunities for the academic development of students who enter the university. The present work is carried out within the Grial Research Group, as well as the support of the Technological University of Puebla. 
Thanks for your attention.